is phylum arthropoda. Number two, phylum caudata. However, I would like to show you some of the examples of animals under the kingdom animalia. Below, examples under the kingdom animalia include, we have the crabs, you can see the body, we can see the parts of the leg, this is a part of the body and we also have separate legs. The second example is the prone and we can see it has the legs, it has the antenna as well and the eyes. The third example under the kingdom animalia are the millipedes. Examples of the kingdom animalia include the millipede. The millipede has a cylindrical body and has two pairs of legs per segment. The other example is the housefly. The housefly has three parts of the body and has three pairs of legs per segment. The housefly also has wings. The other example under the kingdom animalia include the roundworms. The roundworms do not have legs, but they have segmented bodies. Phylum arthropoda. This is the largest phylum in the animal kingdom. General characteristics. The phylum arthropoda is derived from two words. The first word is arthros, which means jointed. The second word is poda, which means leg or foot. Therefore, arthropoda means organisms that have jointed legs or jointed appendages. They have a tough coat made of chitin known as the exoskeleton. Functions of the exoskeleton. It is waterproof, hence prevents an animal from losing too much water, a process we refer to it as desiccation. It protects internal organs against mechanical damage. The internal muscles of these organisms are attached to the exoskeleton. Something to note, the exoskeleton does not grow, but it is shed periodically in a process called molting, also known as ecdysis. Thank you.